नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू स्टार्टअप चैंपियंस आई एम शुभेंदु घोष दिस इज द स्टेज दैट सेलिब्रेट्स द स्टार्टअप टैलेंट ऑफ इंडिया नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एनर्जी एनर्जी वी नो ड्राइव्स एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आवर लाइफ्स फ्रॉम द गैस दैट इज यूज्ड टू कुक फूड टू द फ्यूल दैट वी यूज्ड टू ड्राइव आवर व्हीकल्स आवर कार्स टू इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दैट लाइट्स अप दिस ब्यूटीफुल स्टेज एंड आवर होम्स नाउ कन्वेंशनल फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी आर फाइनाइट and uh, the manner in which we use them also has an impact on the climate and our planet as a whole so the need of the r is to have eco friendly sources of energy and efficient use of the power that we have now india has set ambitious targets towards renewable energy also remember government has been able to democratize access to energy for the masses through uh, flagship programs like ujwala yojana now the startups who are joining us today in the program have truly energized the energy sector of the country through their innovations and technological disruptions let me introduce you to the startups who are joining us uh, in the program we have with us first sia soft technologies uh, a startup from bengaluru bipin chandra is joining us bipin warm welcome to the thank program you. thank you and a second uh, startup uh, of the day allo e cell a startup from lucknow and co-founder nimisha varma is joining us welcome nimisha what happened do you got hurt thank you for inviting me i just had a small accident Nothing okay yet. okay please take care and warm welcome uh, to the program and uh, like always we have a fantastic uh, set of audience members students entrepreneurs teachers warm welcome to you big hand for yourselves for your presence in the program and remember mentor are a very important part of the program as mentors are impart- important in any startup uh, journey let me introduce you to the mentor uh, who's joining us in the program we are very excited to have with us mr alek khedatta uh, who's joining us from uh, terry alek a warm welcome uh, to the program thanks very much for joining us uh, alek is working in fact uh, on different aspects of renewable energy also battery energy storage system and virtual uh power plants alake look forward to engaging with you in the course of the program warm welcome to you thank you now as we uh, begin the program uh, let us take an overview of the energy sector from the perspective of the flagship reforms and programs introduced by the government and also the challenges that lie ahead the manner in which technology has proved to be a game changer and why this sector is an exciting place for startups let's take a look एक तरफ देश में नेचुरल गैस पर फोकस किया जा रहा है तो दूसरी तरफ देश अपने एनर्जी रिसोर्स को भी डाइवर्सिफाई कर रहा है उज्ज्वला योजना जैसी स्कीम से देश के 8 करोड़ से ज्यादा गरीब परिवारों के घर कुकिंग गैस तो पहुंची है साथ ही इससे एलपीजी से जुड़ा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भी देश में मजबूत हुआ है Whether it is the empowerment of women through LPG gas cylinders from Ujwala scheme or the Ujala scheme that seeks to replace old tungsten bulbs with energy efficient LED bulbs the resounding success of the energy centric flagship schemes show that technology will play a vital role to make India self reliant in the energy sector recent years have witnessed big reforms in the energy sector of India from 2014 to 2020 50000 crore rupees invested on energy infrastructure of the country bailout package worth 90000 crore rupees for discoms under atmanirbhar bharat over 280 lakh homes get electricity connection under saubhagya yojana energy policies have led to saving of 136 billion units of electricity and 67000 crore rupees the government has also taken important measures to empower the consumers electricity consumer rights rules have been laid out covering all aspects from issuance of electricity connection to power supply to bill payment facility but with big reforms also come great challenges let's look at some of them making 24 into 7 electricity supply a reality making uninterrupted power supply affordable ensuring access to renewable energy 
at remote places, making renewable energy accessible to small entrepreneurs, increasing use of renewable energy in agriculture. Waste to energy generation is the need of the hour, expanding wind farms and promoting use of wind energy, energy efficient tech to produce clean drinking water. The emerging startups in the energy sector can play a crucial role in tackling these challenges. Today, many startups are engaged in harnessing clean energy and others in the maintenance of the power infrastructure. Some are using artificial intelligence to promote efficient use of energy and reducing the cost of the consumer. The need of the hour is for startups to provide innovative solutions faced by the sector and make India energy ready for the 21st century. So those were some of the important trends uh, in the energy sector. At this point, let us connect with our uh, mentor, uh, Alekh. Uh, Alekh, uh, if we uh, look at the challenges uh, uh, faced by the startups uh, in the energy sector, how would you say, how would you evaluate the manner in which they've risen up to the challenge? Yeah, so of course, my, I'll, be, I'll be focusing more on the energy sector startups uh, opportunities. Uh, you know, uh, when India talks about uh, the transition towards cleaner mobility, clean source of electricity, of course, there we, you know, we essentially talk about renewables, we essentially talk, talk about electric mobility. And also, on the other hand, we also talked about energy efficiency. Because these are the you know uh, uh, the three verticals where there is an ample opportunity for the startups uh, to you know produce their innovations and also the the scale of our country. If you can see, there are larger opportunity you know uh, to replicate similar innovative solutions. And also we at the, at the, at the, at the country level there is a tremendous potential uh, if you develop uh, some some innovation. And being the you know the diversity of this country, there is a huge potential to have economy of scale and also lowering the cost of that innovations. To name a few, of course, when you're talking about electric mobility, let us talk about the charging infrastructure. There are huge potential for the startups to invest into the charging infrastructure, a new you know set of innovative products. When you're talking about the renewables, especially on the solar rooftop space, for an example, there are huge opportunities for startup to invest into. And we, when we talk about the other aspects like on energy efficiency or the or the demand response, there are opportunities like the smart metering and other aspects what the startup has already talked about their innovations. Uh, so there are a huge opportunity in the power sector uh, per right. se in the country. Uh, thanks for that opening thought. We'll keep connecting with you, Alec. Uh, do uh, stay connected with us. Now let's talk about our first startup. Now you broadly are aware of how electricity is produced, how the power companies purchase it and then distribute it in cities and towns. Now, uh, what we are also familiar with are issues of power theft. Uh, we are also aware of the challenges of power failure. Now, what if I were to tell you to imagine a system, a smart system uh, that can help with the supply demand issues of a power station, that can help consumers with billing requirements and most importantly, a smart system that can check power theft. Now, you'll be very happy to know that such a system already exists in India and it's uh, on and running thanks to SESoft technology. Let's first look at their fascinating story. Electricity is the lifeline of today's economy. It makes our cities throb, catalyzes industrialization, powers crucial infrastructure and lights up our lives. Today, India is the third largest producer and consumer of electricity, but there are still regions where people are bereft of this basic amenity. The electricity consumption by India is set to drastically increase in the coming years. Along with shifting to cleaner energy, we need to ensure judicious use of electricity if we have to reduce our carbon footprint. In 2014, the co-founders of Easier Soft Technologies, Bipin Chandra and Sanjay Soni, came together to work towards this objective and provided the software solution to the country's first smart grid. We had to do something new. I went to Delhi and went to Delhi. The generation is a lot of utility, but there is an issue in distribution. I mean, people do a lot of things, there are a lot of technical loss, there are a lot of loss, there are a lot of commercial loss. People don't know when there will be an outage of power. The way we transmit our electricity has not changed much in the last 70 years. But now, India is progressing fast in making its electricity distribution efficient and resilient. 
let us take a look as to how are we making our grids smart. Electricity is generated by power plants like wind farms, thermal power plants and solar panels. The DISCOMs purchase this electricity and distribute it via their network to the consumers in homes, shops and factories. DISCOMs have the job of matching the electricity demand of a city or a state with the electricity supply on a real-time basis. When demand outpaces the supply, the DISCOM opts for load shedding. But now, our grids are becoming smarter. Meter data management software enabled meters are being installed at our homes, offices, industries and transmission grid. This data is used to match power supply with demand during peak load and detect electricity thefts. The whole uh, data is analyzed into, into our big data analytical system and we have multiple dashboards which will give the customer uh, clear insights that which area to the, they need to focus to reduce the losses. We have a, a distribution transformer monitoring system which will give us the live status of the, you can see here the temperature of the transformers. Is it optimally loaded? It is uh, overloaded, the whole status and what is the oil level also is showcased here. And if any anomaly, the alert is triggered to the particular official so that they can take a corrective action. Easier soft technologies analyzes data and informs the consumers about their consumption of electricity. This software solution has taken care of not just energy management but also keeping the data secure. Dealing with such critical infrastructure requires protecting the network from cyber attacks. Their protocol takes care of this threat as well. The smart meters now allow the DISCOMs to capture the meter readings automatically and remotely, thus increasing transparency in billing. Correct meter reading and revenue collection after billing are two major challenges being faced by utilities which smart metering attempts to solve. Consumers to have been benefited by this initiative because meter reading related complaints have come down to almost zero and consumers have complete visibility of their consumption pattern through mobile app. Up till now, we have invested about Rs 75 crore uh, rupees in the project, which have already been recovered through enhanced revenues after implementation of the project. Moreover, the system provided accurate meter reading during COVID period without human intervention, which was a big relief in the time of pandemic. Now, EasierSoft Technologies is diversifying towards smart metering of water and gas. They began their journey in 2014 and are fast expanding to several cities in India and abroad. They truly symbolize the spirit of Make in India. Isya means future in Sanskrit. These smart meters combine IoT with big data analytics for enhancing energy efficiency. Solutions like these are the foundation for building sustainable cities. Indeed, when a champion startup, India steps into the future. So that's a fascinating journey of Asia Soft Technologies. Uh, can we have uh, hands together for them? And co-founder Bipin Chandra is with us. Uh, Bipin, so you developed a software that enables smart metering, smart grid system. Uh, where did the idea come from? So, yeah, the idea, see, as you, I think uh, you have shown hmm. everything here. The first and the foremost thing is we don't, I mean, I mean, probably many people would have been surprised here that India is a power surplus country, hmm. but yet we don't have 24-7 uninterrupted clean power. Just to simplify, power surplus would mean there is enough power and electricity for everyone. Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, if and it's properly distributed and managed. So for that, we can have hmm. a 24-7 uninterrupted hmm. clean and less cost power. So, okay. uh, but end of the day, so we uh, we don't have that. So what? Hmm. Where, where does it go? So if you look at the one of the major point that you brought it out that right. in the start of the program is the power theft, it's a non-technical loss. There is a theft, there mm. are the, uh, the assets are not maintained, the transformers right. are not maintained, the grids are not maintained, aging infrastructure. So a lot of things leads to the losses and that's where uh, the, the biggest problem is. So the idea was to how do we address a problem that each and every one faces. So that mm. was the idea and uh, we wanted to solve that problem and uh, and we noticed that it is not a problem just India as such, it is a, a challenge globally from a various different scenarios. Right. So, so that was the whole thing that uh, started off. Interesting, we learn more about uh, that uh, from you. Sure. Let's connect with our mentor, Alek Hedatha, uh, who continues to be with us. Uh, Alek, if we can have you on the mentor wall, there you are. Uh, Alek, uh, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, 
this game changing uh, innovation managing power better so that it becomes accessible to everyone how do you look at that idea and the journey yeah so just to having a setting up the context what honorable power minister just now mentioned uh, regarding the quality of power or the you know the consumer is having the rights to get quality of power uh, in at, at his premises so i think in that sense this kind of innovations are play a important role when we bring transparency to this sector you know uh, the the monitoring of your consumptions the and and this this kind of innovation it will improvise your the billing system of the distribution utilities and there therefore of course you know uh, you, you bring more and more transparency to the sector as well as reducing the cost of power what is the intention of the government of india for the for the end consumers so i think this this kind of innovations having a larger potential as i told not only you know uh, you know reduce the issues related to the billing through smart metering and also it can be utilized for other functionalities like when tomorrow if you wanted to do a perform you want to perform on demand response program in order to reduce your peak demand of your system so this kind of innovation will be will be will be really helpful even even also when you talk about the electric mobility you know when you have to charge the vehicle you, you should not charge the vehicle when the utility there is a peak demand at that your at your system your smart system should you know you know you know can monitor those uh, those uh, the electricity demand and it can you know it, it can in, inform to you through its based upon the intelligence that that, that is in built in this system when to charge your vehicle it is not like you know you can charge your vehicle when there is no peak at the system or there is you know in op cars essentially so this, right. these are having a multifold benefits uh, apart from the loss reduction and other other aspects right there alakya uh, uh, thanks for that input uh, uh, please do continue to stay with us uh, uh, bipin uh, if you could give us some insight into uh, the business model that you follow uh, for this software uh, in what manner do you partner with uh, power companies in order to make uh, uh, and manage power distribution okay see now if you look at hmm. uh, there are various programs that the government of india has initiated with the first and the foremost is the government of india has has done the right thing is now to bring in a scheme hmm. where all these losses this discoms are incurring okay so what they said is that all the grants that we are providing you so you you sign up an agreement an mou with the central federal government as minister the power minister rightly said right. we want to empower the consumer but if you don't meet it we have a strict action to take so now for that efficiency so the discom is signing that in the next course of 5 years we will reduce these losses and how do we do that so for that also the government of india has given a solution right right so they said that oh, we bring in the smart meters this is a mandate you please implement this and there are the solutions that is there and with that so and for that's us that's where your software company comes in that's absolutely. where you help uh, them uh, manage uh, the power losses absolutely the so we accounting. help these discoms to enable the smart metering hmm. and help them to cut these losses and meet the uh, the the targets that they have uh, committed to right. the government of india and to the consumers right uh, bipin uh, we're very curious about your team as well mm -hmm. uh, before we, i ask you about that let uh, let's hear from the co-founder uh, sanjay in the startup definitely financial problem will be there so this we also got the financial problem but the, uh, our employees supported always they never left uh, with us and whatever problem they fa we face uh, we will uh, resolve together always they are supporting us there sanjay they're talking about uh, the importance uh, of having a team that stays close together bipin if you could give us some insight i think what sanjay was talking about uh, was a certain difficult period in time for the company when all the team members stick together what is it like to be a part well, of absolutely it? and especially the the kind of segment that we are in energy sectors yeah. is like this is not as something as an immediate result oriented so the long gestations are there and irrespective of the energy or any other startups i think the team that initial team that is going to be there because one you are struggling to make sure that whatever the the product that you want to uh, to deliver so you're struggling to do that. at the same time the whole team is with you because that's that's becomes your core uh, uh ingredient into the when you do a startup right. it definitely not an individual effort but and how many team members uh, bipin if i were to ask you in your in your uh, startup 
Oh, we we are about now uh, 55 people now. Okay. So yeah, so both uh, in India and in abroad, together put together. So uh, we thank them because uh, because of them we are here and uh, we we plan to go much further. And this point, uh, let's also get some questions from the audience who've joined us for the program. Uh, yeah, you'd like to ask something. Thank you. Thank you for giving me opportunity to ask the question. I'm Sushil Vaishnav, and I'm the founder for the KNP Arises Green Energy Private Limited. We are also the startup like yours. And in our journey, we are in the last two years. The biggest challenge which you faced in the first year itself, actually we have rose to the, we have made the revenue of two crores. And the next year, this year, we are going to hit 2.4 CR. But despite having a, such a great revenues in the two years of the time, we are facing the biggest difficulty because none of the vendors are ready to wait for two months to get their payments back. And we also know that situation is good after two months, but they're handling the, this particular situation. So how do you handle such financial crisis once the, you, you know you're, you are already doing good? See, I'm, I mean, um, it's, a, it's a good question and it's a <laughs> typical question too because as a startups we face yeah. as the cash flow issues. So I think one, uh, 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 definitely the funds are required. So how do we managed was uh, the cash flow uh, was managed uh, 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 properly. So that that's quite a thing and you will learn um, across. Uh, we also raised some uh, funds, um, both through debt and equity, both, okay? And at least for a six months period that uh, if you could have that, uh, so then you can uh, plan it uh, better. So that's what uh, what we did. Right. But and however, yes, these challenges do come, uh, yeah. but this is how uh, you can plan, yeah. Do you have any uh, uh, suggestions like equity or debt? Which is the better option, which you feel is the less expensive? Less expensive, of course, is debt because equity uh, is expensive uh, when you when you give out a lot. Uh, but uh, who provides the debt? So that's a good question to ask. Uh, we did uh, both, uh, but yes. So this is the one. There are schemes that now government of India and of what I've, what I've also know is that the very recent uh, program that came up by the Honorable Prime Minister. Uh, the the fund now about a thousand crores has been specifically specified for startup fund, right. and I think uh, under that scheme, uh, especially for renewable, you have that. If you could really apply that and uh, take it forward, I think you'll definitely get that. I uh, think Startup India mission uh, in that manner absolutely, uh, plays absolutely. an important role in uh, in in supporting the startups, Bipin. Uh, one important aspect about your startup when we're talking about it is the manner in which it checks power theft. Now. Uh, that could be a risky business. The people uh, that you're working against, uh, people who are stealing uh, and causing uh, uh, losses to the nation. How did that work out? Did, were there threats? Were there challenging situations, scenarios uh, that you found yourself in? Oh, very interesting. I mean, uh, of course, uh, because what when we uh, started off, we all we when we were building the software, we also thought that okay, why only? put our hands on software for now, maybe also understand on the ground, hmm. so that it will help us to understand how this whole thing work. So, uh, I mean, one of the northern state, uh, we happened to take even the installation, commissioning, and then the uh, the software that we able to uh, implement it. Sure. It was uh, quite challenging. I mean, our... Uh, the, the so what happened? Did you face an opposition? What was that like? The opposition from the consumer, the, they were never let you to implement. Opposition from the system itself, hmm. because they don't want that to uh, be implemented. Uh, but I think sometimes uh, it's good uh, to know those experiences. They know how to maneuver this, because, just not, because technology is not just directly to implement. It's just how do you uh, uh, involve them, the inclusive part of it so that they also show how the other benefit that mm. they get out of this, not just losing it. So I think that has helped and also uh, uh, the leadership. Uh, I think it is, they stood by to it. I mean, a very interesting story would be, how do you, uh, if you think that a meter, how strong they can make, a simple villager uh, takes a scooter, spark plug, and he can, he burns it out the meter itself. So. I mean, not even the companies, the large companies could, couldn't think of. Mm. The, so this is the kind of thing that what we have faced. So uh, it's been a, it's a tough journey, but uh, we know that, uh, so this is part and parcel of the business. 
It's a tough journey and uh, we know in every tough journey, the role of the family is very crucial. Uh, we sometimes uh, don't get to see uh, the kind of sacrifices that the family makes in the success sure. of the startup. Uh, we have some interesting bites uh, of your family members. Let's sure. listen to them. Sure. शुरुआत के दिनों में काफी मुश्किल होती थी अकेले सब कुछ मैनेज करना होता था ये इतने ज्यादा बिजी होते हैं कि बिल्कुल भी टाइम नहीं होता हम लोग साथ में भी टाइम कभी बिता पाते हैं एक बेबी भी है हमारा उसके साथ अकेले सब कुछ करना अकेले सब कुछ मैनेज करना काफी टफ होता था जैसे हाँ मैं लाइफ देखती हूँ उनके फ्रेंड्स भी है वीकेंड पे सभी लोग फ्री होते हैं लाइफ इंजॉय करते हैं लेकिन हमारा ऐसा कम ही हो पाता है कि हम साथ में टाइम बिता पाए लेकिन जैसे जैसे टाइम आगे गया बीता मैंने इनको समझा इनके काम को समझा देखा जाना उसे लगा कि नहीं ये काम इनका बहुत अच्छा है और अब अच्छा लगने लगा है ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता जैसे इन्हें नेशनल अवार्ड मिला इनकी कंपनी को तो काफ़ी प्राउड फील हुआ इनके लिए जो प्रोजेक्ट मिलते हैं काफ़ी अच्छा लगता है कि ये मेहनत कर रहे हैं तो बहुत सही चीज़ है आगे हमारी लाइफ के लिए सब बहुत अच्छा है वेन ही फर्स्ट गेव मी दैट ही स्टार्टअप आइडिया काइंड ऑफ वर्थिंग so i was bit worried because it was like it was a smooth running for the household or whatever it is but now when he has started like saying that i'll uh, resign resign <laughs> and then and all of a sudden he resigned and he said that i'm going to do a startup so that was okay then i thought like let me try because anyhow i was earning so anyhow one uh, thing will be there so that i can take care of the household so i thought like you uh, take a call on that and he started or i think in 2009 so it was okay but initially it was very glitchy like um, he had his own set of problems everything and somehow we could overcome over a span of time yeah so of the startup founders uh, bibin how significant has been their support and sacrifice oh it's it's uh, i think it's uh, it's all because of them because if they don't support the family doesn't support then you are juggling between the company and the family at least one is taken care so you focus on the one problem that you have so family plays right. a major role and especially uh, my wife and i have two son uh, and they were just all born and i was like traveling uh, five days a week i mean uh, so it was very tough but uh, she managed it pretty well yeah. great and at this point if you can take uh, another question uh, uh, from audience members please <laughs> go on. Uh, so this is amandeep singh and uh, i have basically a uh, agri commodity trading business mm -hmm. and i deal with all the kind of fruits vegetables and and buy and get converted into the value added products and i sell to industries so uh, just just i was just going through your uh, story and it's very inspiring and but i also want to understand uh, like uh, you have created this soft software which is actually uh, you know uh, i'll say the eradicating the needs of menars which are which will be required to take the readings and you know because self generating uh, yeah. so how many man hours you have you are thinking right now uh, at this instant of time you are saving from the electricity board or uh, like you know see okay so uh, to to give a very uh, simple answer of the the scenario that what we all face just imagine in the the covid times hmm. okay the whole lockdown now you're not you're not allowing a meter readers to come in or meter readers so everybody is locked on but still you have to get power still the utility has to generate they have to pay salaries so so the bill has to be generated so but this system has helped without any human intervention so able to generate accurate uh billing and able to generate and you will be able to pay through your apps so this is one uh, aspect of uh, mm. uh, what uh we are able to see to other part of it's how many hours rather than hours i would say in one of the city in southern india we were able to with this our system we were able to save about 150000 outage minutes so that what that means that means for a consumer you don't have power cut and for the utility they are able to generate more revenue because for a utility if you have they they power card it's a loss for them they want to give you power right. but they don't have that because there's a losses so 150000 outage minutes that we have able to 
uh, That's an incredible uh, number. And at this point in time, uh, if you can get a quick thought uh, from our mentor as well, uh, Alakya Datta continues to be with us. Uh, Alakya, uh, one of the interesting things about uh, uh, SAS Soft is that not only have they done very well in India, but they've also expanded, yeah. they've also established themselves in the Middle East. So it's not just uh, make in India, it's also make for the world. From that perspective, how do you see the performance of SAS Soft? Yeah, so I think that is one of the leadership has already taken by our Honorable Prime Minister when we're talking about, you know, this Atmanivar Bharat. It is, you know, the in energy sector, not only in India, if you can see the Southeast Asia or the South Asian countries, there are ample opportunities to, you know, utilization of such products or such innovation. But of course, when we talk about the South Asian countries or the Southeast country, South Asia country, Asian countries, we have to keep in mind the cost factor in place. I think where this, you know, these startups can definitely play a pivotal role to reduce the cost of of the product of the of the innovation they have done. And I think here they have the excellent opportunity, you know, uh, to utilize the learnings from the India because we are one of the pioneering country and we have so diverse of geography that we have in the country, which can definitely replicable in other parts of the Asia Asian region and other other parts of the of the globe. Right, Alakya, uh, do continue to stay with us. Uh, time now to meet our second startup. Now, you must have heard about aloe vera. Aloe vera plant, uh, we've seen it in our uh, gardens. So we are aware of its herbal medicinal properties. We often see advertisements of cosmetics where aloe vera is a key ingredient. Now, what if I tell you that aloe vera plant has the capacity to light a bulb, to light up the studio for that matter? Well, it is true. And the fascinating, hardworking, and the brilliant team of Allo eCell has made that possible. Let's look at their special journey. Rajasthan is known for its Thar Desert, where aloe vera is found in abundance. Aloe vera recharges your skin. But did you know that it can also work in torches and batteries? Amazed? Do not be because I have two young entrepreneurs who have created this and who have invented this and this is going to be the future. Sitting in a humble apartment on their laptops in Jaipur, Naveen and Nimisha are writing success stories which provide solutions to many man-made problems. The duo have created a dry cell battery from aloe vera that not only keeps time but also drives away the darkness, lighting the torches. Hanging on the wall, these certificates and pictures are a testimony to their success stories. Working together in a hackathon in 2016-17, both realize the menace of e-waste and the pollution caused by hazardous chemicals and heavy metals. 97% of materials used in the ordinary batteries are imported. Batteries are removed when 20 to 30% of the energy is still left in them and this can cause an explosion. Batteries end up in landfills. They release toxic materials causing soil, water and air pollution. According to a study, India generates 2 million tons of waste every year accounting for 82% of e-waste. E-waste pollution results in chronic diseases like cancer. But batteries made from aloe vera are cheap, safe and 100% indigenous. Moreover, they are twice more durable. And because of this, Naveen and Namisha won the Schneider Green Global Awards on the 3rd of October 2019 in Barcelona, defeating competition from 168 countries. One kilo of aloe vera produces around 125 batteries which will surely benefit farmers. Four crops of aloe vera can be produced on a small piece of land in one year. Aloe vera has a lot of advantages, that is cultivation advantage, economic advantage, health advantage. Geographical also. Geographical advantage, I mean that is covered in cultivation. Yeah. So uh, the farmers are going to benefit it because not much land is needed for that. Moreover, it can be harvested four times a year and per harvest you can get an extra income of six lakh rupees. Having met the top guns of the industry in America and Europe, Naveen and Nimisha are the first engineers of their families. But Naveen's life has been a bit more challenging. He's the first graduate from his family and has done most of his schooling in Hindi medium. And now, through a novel idea, Naveen is trying to improve the learning skills of school kids in his hometown Bundi in Rajasthan. 
they were not able to uh, study because of online education everybody was not having you know mobile phones access to those so we started an initiative called naya savera and uh, we implemented a system of peer to peer learning over there which i seen in fremont uh, usa california so there was a system uh, like the, the students over there were studying without a teacher on the 6th of october last year the duo of navin and nimisha won the national startup awards defeating more than 450 entries though covid has been a speed breaker but that has not dampened their spirits as both now await a patent for their innovation so there that's the brilliant journey of aloe cell uh, a fascinating uh, and nimisha uh, is with us co-founder nimisha i'm very curious to see uh, that battery if i can yeah you can wow it looks like a pencil cell and uh, it has got uh, aloe vera right. inside of it right how is it different uh, from the ordinary batteries that we see uh first of all it is 100% eco friendly hmm. it is 100% non hazardous right. and biodegradable right and moreover it is 100% non explosive and it's 100% made in india amazing and uh, for anyone who has any doubts to see if it works we have a clock, a clock here, here. and uh, i can make it run And amazing it's working it's an aloe vera run battery that can run a clock uh, fascinating uh nimisha uh so tell us about the journey uh, of the startup how did you zero on uh, aloe vera were you looking uh, through the garden looking at different plants that can produce uh, Uh, that sort of an electrolyte how did yeah, it happen yeah actually it has a long story it was not the day one when we decided that yes come navin we'll uh, create a battery out of aloe vera mm. no this story started uh, in 2018 when we were doing our other startup on e-waste there we realized few alarming facts about e-waste that mm. first of all is these batteries end up into landfills which causes a lot of pollution as well as a lot of diseases right. and you will be really shocked to know that 69% of these diseases are Uh, are happening to people living nearby landfill areas right and the worst part is that we are creating the batteries using the material out of which 97% of the material is imported from different countries mm. which levies a high pressure of 149 billion dollars on indian economy mm. these were very alarming facts for us that was the point when we decided that yes we should do something towards e waste in our further research we got to know that the major cause of e waste are the primary batteries and right. that was the exact time when we decided that yes we need an eco friendly potential and eco friendly alternative for the hazardous batteries we have been using since years that's really fantastic uh, let's get some quick questions from the audience uh, members here uh, you can ask the question sir then we can i'll come to you then i'll come to you uh, first of all my compliments to you for this remarkable achievement which you truly represent the uh, startup india spirit now my question is uh, what's the future of uh, uh, aloe vera gel batteries i mean are you planning to expand in the industrial sector wherein you produce large batteries like power generation for ups and other equipment or maybe a vehicle driven by aloe vera power for now uh, we are actually we have stepped into the primary battery segment because mm. uh, we are trying to eradicate that problem so for now getting the part batteries and the evs for uh, using aloe vera is a far long way to go just right. now we'll step into the primary batteries and try to eradicate that problem at once right we'll take another question from the lady hello yeah you audible yeah hello my name is chavi i'm from jagannath institute of management sciences and i am uh, pursuing ma uh, masters in journalism from there i wanted i i was very curious about what will will be the advertising strategy for this great initiative also i i wanted to know what will be the parameter of success and how will it will be measured that's an interesting question i was just in fact going to ask something like that how do you plan to match the competition because a lot of competition battery companies either they have a celebrity endorsing the battery or they say the batteries are more powerful how do you plan to position it against that uh for now like since these batteries are in the product development stage only but uh, mm. yes we are working towards the advertising and marketing strategy uh and for this very year i think the government are, uh, itself is endorsing us and is yes. working as a, like uh, helping us to be in the limelight and is working for the advertising and marketing campaigns for now but yes later on obviously because uh, a lot of 
battery companies are there and they are not uh, from today only. I mean, they have been here from like uh, years or decades, I would say. So we are working on that and in the near future, you will be seeing some celebrity or I would say our celebrities will be the rural Indians who will be actually endorsing our product and uh, bringing it in the limelight. Right. Uh, also, Nimisha, you mentioned uh, how the raw material, aloe vera, is completely indigenous. Uh, is the technology also indigenous? Is there any similar product that exists in India or abroad uh, uh, that you can tell us about? Or is it an absolutely new uh, invention, so to say? Uh, talking about the technology behind it, like if we talk about powering a battery using aloe vera, so a lot of research papers are already available there. Okay. But the real, uh, I would say the real invention lies in making a usable battery because every day we hear a lot of batteries are being created uh, either from, I would not say uh, material, either from XYZ. Mm. But the exact uh, material or the exact product till the time it comes in our hand is either outdated or we get another alternative for that. Mm. So the real science behind this Allo E-cell is the design and completing this into a usable product. Right. And you mentioned that you applied for patent uh, for this product. Uh, now, we're also talking about the Startup India mission. Help us understand, as a young startup, what kind of support opportunities are you getting under this mission, especially from the perspective of getting a patent uh, for your product? Uh, talking about the benefits that we are getting from the Startup India mission, because the day we have registered ourselves as DPIIT, the world has totally changed for us. because. I mean, Startup India helps you at each and every step. It helps you in taking your baby steps, I would say. It helps, uh, it provides a list of mentors who mentors you around the like complete business strategies, the complete product commercialization, everything. And when we talk especially about IP, uh, like taking the IP in this, so there are a lot of, uh, a lot of things are there. Because in our case, we got the help as in the fast track examination. The sure. second was the rebate. And third was uh, like the patent drafting fees and everything. I mean, it has it was reduced to a tremendous number. So that helped us because we are a bootstrap startup. So uh, getting the patent done from any private firm who charges you a, like hefty amount. So it was very difficult. But thanks to the government who has induced such uh, beautiful policies, I would say, and is supporting startups like us. Right. Time to turn to our uh, mentor and get a perspective. Uh, Alakya, how do you see this fascinating product, uh, Allo E-Cell? Yeah, so of course, it's, it, I think it is, uh, it is why I can say it's a landmark kind of achieve, achievement what they have done, of course, very small scale. When we, because when you talk about electric mobility, you know the battery storage is are one of the essential component that that feeds feeds into the electric vehicles. So uh, I think there are ample opportunities uh, for this kind of innovation. But of course, the scale is much much lesser. What what they have mentioned, uh, you know, in terms of the capacity of the batteries or or they, what they are looking for now. Of course, their objective is to you know serve the 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 you know the, the the electronic devices which which runs on the smaller size of the battery but again this is one of the innovation definitely because we we all talk about lithium ion batteries or the or the or the batteries which use the rare earth materials india does not have those rare earth materials uh, so and and if we talk about electric mobility so battery will play a larger role so we have to have some innovation at some point of time which can be indigenous which can be manufactured in India. And then only I think this electric mobility, the vision that we have, will be able to succeed. Otherwise, we'll be importing, again, instead of uh, petrol, petrochemicals, we'll be importing the batteries from the external world. I think mm -hmm. India is having a lot a lot of potential. We talked about hydrogen, we talked about sodium sodium batteries, we talked about mm -hmm. you know this new innovat innovative batteries, what they have developed using the aloe vera gel. I think this is one kind of a landmark revolution, and, and if we make it at the scale, I think there will be enough opportunity for the country uh, to bank upon uh, in order to pursue its mission towards electric mobility. Right. Uh, thanks, Alakya, for those inputs. At this point, uh, let's again uh, turn to our audience and pick some more questions that may have come. Yeah, you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Sushil Vaishno, as I mentioned. I'm also from Jaipur. And our startup is also related to the converting the waste cooking oil into biodiesel. So one side we are trying to prevent the adulteration. So whatever food which we are eating, it has a lot of adulteration because it is being used several times. So we are trying to protect the environment and we are also giving the clean energy. So in 
because we are impacting the environment as well as the health. So because of this kind of the similar edge your startup is also has because you are converting the so many such a big issue of batteries into the green energy. Mm. So have you re like have you received any kind of well red carpet welcome by the system because we have seen so much of bureaucracy actually kill so many ideas. So have you received any kind of support from the system because of the, such a great initiative? Thank you. So yes, we have received a lot of support. I mean, uh, I would really say the initial years were actually very difficult for us because till the time you get a validation, the first validation is really difficult to get. But after that, the like, I mean, it's a cakewalk. And talking about in our case, like getting the National Startup Award, it has actually given us a huge set of audience and a huge set of network who is ready to welcome us, who is ready to uh, use these batteries. So I think now we are, I mean, ready to commercialize these batteries as soon as possible. Right. Uh, uh, Nimisha, uh, Naveen and you, you're the uh, founders of uh, Aloe Cell. Uh, how did you come together to create a fascinating product like that? Uh, I mean, it's three to four years back uh, when we were in our college. Okay. So we used to participate in various startup events. Mm. And there was one such event in Udaipur where we both met. We got to know that uh, though we have different uh, perspectives, different viewpoints, but our thought process is same. Mm. And we have similar mission and vision. And that was the time when we came together and started uh, like thinking of startups. And that was the time we stepped into a different set of startups and working together. Right. And then let's also take a look at uh, what kind of support did you get from your family? We spoke to uh, some family members, yours and Naveen. Let's take a look. Sell. 100% eco-friendly है साथ में वो किसानों के आय का भी एक सोर्स बन सकता है और ऐसे जो नेशनल स्टार्टअप अवार्ड जैसे प्रोग्राम सरकार करवाती है इसके द्वारा बहुत से ऐसे स्टार्टअप हैं जो हिडन स्टार्टअप जिनको अपन कह सकते हैं उन्हें भी अपन सामने ला सकते हैं Really, it's a commendable thing for the entire family and not only this, but to it. Nimisha and Naveen, they have representative India and Asia in Barcelona and they were uh, rewarded as a global winner. And whatever thinking of Mr. Nain Modi regarding Aadmiya Bharat, I think they are, they are uh, providing us steps towards it. Startup ka national award for बच्चों को नवीन और निशा दोनों को मिला है मैं इसको बहुत ज़्यादा खुश हूँ जब लोगों को नेशनल अवार्ड मिला मेरी खुशी का ठिकाना ही नहीं रहा कि मेरे बच्चों को जो है वो नेशनल अवार्ड मिला yeah, support of the family, always uh, very special. Uh, Nimisha, what was it like for the family uh, to have such a, a fabulous product being developed by one of them? I mean, the family is our inspiration. So they have only supported us at, at each and every step. And mm. I think it is all because of them we are here. And talking about their support, I mean, it is only them, I would say. Mm. Uh, because parents are the ones who bless you and who help you at each and every step. And winning of this National Startup Award, creating of these batteries, I think it is a dream come true for them because it is them who see the world through our eyes. And we are really happy that we could bring the, that gleam in their eyes and support them. And where does Aloe Cell Enterprise go from here, Nimisha? What is your expectations from investors who may be watching this program? Uh, what are you looking forward to at this point, you and your founder? Yeah, at this point, uh, we are like, if we talk about uh, current journey. Now we are in the product development stage and now we are looking to seek angel investment. Five years down the line, we are expecting Allo e -Cell to be a clean tech and green tech company mm. working towards the goal of achieving sustainability and replacing the toxic chemicals with the eco-friendly potential. Right. Uh, SAR Soft, uh, uh, Bipin, we'd also like to know, uh, for the investors who are watching this program and are fascinated by uh, your, your startup, uh, what is your appeal? What are you looking forward to, you and your founder, the vision that you have? See, we are a global company, the whole product. We compete with uh, the biggest peers that mm. we have uh, in, in this segment. Right. Uh, for us, the fund, one is the funding and one, how do we reach uh, uh, I mean the entire world? Because this transition or the transformation is happening across the globe. And how do we quickly be part of that? And that's the journey. And uh, all thanks to, I mean, the one I really want to thank is uh, first we raised uh, the debt. 
hmm. and our investor uh, was uh, Mr. Poo Balan who helped us in uh, supporting us and uh, providing that and of course all uh, our, uh, sister, our partners right. so like Larson and Tubro, they help us. One of the cash flow, what I talked about, they helped us in earlier payments, you know, so that is one of the the good part of that ecosystem also being the big companies how they support uh, that and of course you you have to write plan your uh, funds and uh, yeah that's how we've been we're also now raised uh, the series a fund right. in uh, uae uh, that gave us a boost to going to the next uh, 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 step so from the so that is where uh, we planned it out uh, absolutely right. and investors yeah. who are watching this program two absolutely brilliant startups are here on the stage You've seen their stories, and if you're interested in contacting them, you can reach out to us or reach out to them uh, directly. Uh, audience members, I again, once again, open the floor uh, for questions uh, to either of the startups if you'd like to ask. I'll come to you. You've been waiting for some time. Yeah. Myself, Mayuri, and I'm a student, journalism student. And uh, I guess you are inspiring a lot of people, including me. So I would like to know, like, what would you say to motivate the youth in this uh, energy sector? Uh, if I say, if I talk, I mean, there are two things, motivating the youth and motivating the youth in the energy sector, as you specifically said. One thing as it's clearly specified that not many startups or not many new players are here, but it's not that you cannot enter this world. So be confident, be creative and just enter the world if you have an inspiration or if you think that you have a novel idea, don't think of anyone. Just try, just execute and enter this world and the whole world will be yours. Where did you get uh, inspiration? Uh, I take the inspiration from everywhere. I mean the surroundings. I even take the inspiration from the audience and most of all my family who has been inspiring me from my birth itself. Thank and you, perhaps even uh, the aloe vera plant could be an inspiration for being so versatile yeah. and important. <laughs> A quick one more question. if uh, you yeah. have. I just want to understand uh, how is the price positioning of this cell you are planning and what is the quality compared to other uh, imported uh, you know brands which are already in the market and the third and very important thing the raw material because it's a uh, agriculture crop right so uh, how you are planning are you going into the contract farming further and on certainly since the laws have changed and you know a lot of turbulence in the market already so how you are planning your raw material procurements so I'll, s I'll answer one by one. Sure. Talking about the cost, since we are using aloe vera, which is grown in abundance in India, so it is one of the most economical raw material available. That's why these batteries are 10% economical than the existing batteries. When we talk about the quality in terms of durability, according to the initial results and the test reports, it is 1.5 times more durable than the existing zinc carbon batteries. Mm. And when we talk about the raw material, as I already told you, we are using aloe vera. And India is like, India produces 10% of the world's aloe vera and it is available in abundance. Moreover, we are not using it for the medicinal purpose. So our requirement is totally different. And uh, if we talk about this, we have already started the uh, talking to the farmers, the contractual farming. And you would be really happy to know that we have actually already set up four aloe cell research farms, especially oh. for this. What kind of pricing? Because right now, the pricing for all the medicines and either the beverages where aloe vera is being used, the pricing is different. So are you giving a higher price or a lower price just to understand? Hmm. For now, we ha I mean, hmm. since we are not developing this at a large scale, so answering this question, I mean, in exact terms would be really difficult. But with that initial research and everything, I think we will be able to give a better price than the existing one to the farmers right uh, thanks very much for Thank all you. your questions uh, and time to take some uh, final observation comments and guidance from our uh, mentor uh, alakya uh, if we look at the sector as a whole uh, for the startups who are present here in the state startups youngsters who are watching this program what advice would you give uh, while they plan to enter the energy sector in india yeah so when we're talking about a new product we as indians we always think about the cost and I think initially the cost could be quite high, but when we talk about the Indian market, there's so much of diversification of the economy that we, we are having. I think we can easily bring down the cost. And and these are the some of the you know uh, some of the the, the startups uh, 
you know developing many innovative products you know be it a smart meter be it a you know ai enabled meters or you know or devices uh, to monitor your consumption and other things even for the electric vehicle batteries or you know the charging stations so there are a lot of opportunity but what my suggestion to would be uh, in india if at all you have to be you want to to be a sustainable or you want to improve your sustainability i think we have to foremost we have to you know first up on the cost factor now uh, that what is work in india and also the quality or the deliverability of the project product because that would be that will you know increase the user confidence uh, to your product i think these are the two aspects i think startup should work otherwise technically I, i i think we are we are the best in the world also when it talks about the in terms of the innovation right thanks very much alek here uh, for that input and thanks very much for joining us uh, in the program uh, today and giving all those valuable uh, insights and uh, before we close uh, final round of thoughts uh, from our startups uh, bipin i'll begin with you uh the journey from the idea to the enterprise uh, what kept you going uh, if you can share that mantra uh, with young startups youngsters who are watching this program see one thing is i always believed that i think because a lot of ideas come through okay everywhere you go to coffee shops go to, but idea ideation without implementation is hallucination so oh. just thinking about an idea to try it out put a prototype and that's always been my mantra so but always when i think something or when i put a vision to it i try to implement it i know the problems are there uh, in our lives and wherever what we would do so i always believe that you deliver on ground even if it is a small prototype okay, but at least great. there nimisha what would you say uh i have two things that keep me going one is i believe that execution is the key do mm. whatever you want to just do it till the finish line and secondly is we always believe keep going even when the world stops just keep going and this is the approach that we actually followed at the time of covid pandemic also when the world stopped we did not and we started supporting our nature by giving back to the society so these are my mantras for this right and shall we put our hands together uh, for these two brilliant startups and the founders who joined us today amazing words of wisdom so it's very important for us to also share the kind of impact that startup uh, champions is making Here's an update uh, with Avi the startup who joined us in the previous episode. After this show aired there has been much more positivity from our uh, potential customers where some of them have seen and uh, personally emailed and got in touch and congratulated us and I think discussions are moving forward more uh, positively. Show on DD has covered it that has boosted everybody's spirit and same with respect to investors. So all our current investors were very happy and their uh, confidence has gone up. Uh, a notch very important take is that all the three uh, participants who were there from skyroot bellatrix and uh, thrua space all three of us are now getting on to an mou and we have uh, we have decided to work together that is one uh, important impact from the show after the show we three startups uh, you know came together and uh, you know exploring ways to collaborate with each other as suggested by our mentor shri somnath Uh, the show uh, has reached every nook and corner of the country so we have uh, received messages from many youngsters that uh, they found it very inspiring uh, and increased their interest in the space sector so we from skyroot would like to wholeheartedly thank uh, doordarshan and startup india teams for this amazing initiative this is the first time uh, we are interacting with the chairman of the indian space research organization uh the inputs that uh, he has provided uh the support that he has extended is uh incredible uh our team is extremely motivated and uh, with that we conclude uh, this edition of startup champions a big thank you to the startups uh, bipin and nimisha for joining us uh, in the program today thank you to the audience member for joining us and engaging big hand of applause if you can put it all together for everyone Uh, with that we take your leave with a promise that we'll return next week with new startups new energy new innovations and new reason to be inspired we'll take your leave for now namaskar